I'm gonna tell you one thing. I'm gonna tell you one time. When I leave this house again, I'm gonna have on some drawers. Now I'm thinking because she didn't give me my transfer date, so I actually want to work that out today. What's up, fertility babe? Let's get these babies, ladies. What's up, fertility fam? Welcome to the weekend vlog. This video is sponsored by Silk Silky. I'm so excited to show you guys these pajamas. Um, and their tagline is focus on silky life. So let's do our little unboxing. They feel amazing. Um, there's a guarantee in here. Focus on Silky Live. Sleep with us. Tell your friends. Hey, okay, I'm not mad. It is 100% um, mulberry silk. Special textile techniques gives the silk fabric a glossy and smooth tactility. I'm here for it. So they are wrinkle resistant, um, not wrinkle proof. So there's a little bit of crease in here. You can throw them in the dryer or do like a light iron on them to get that out for your first wear. But these are nice. They feel amazing. And it's 100% real silk. Yeah, this feels good. So this is an extra large that they sent me. They went by my measurements. I'm gonna pop into it because I can't wait. Let me show you what these look like on. Okay, here it is on me like i said it's an extra large so i am 40 inches around 40 in the bust and i'm 33 inches in the waist um yeah it is also allergy resistant as well as wrinkle resistant of course this has the creases on it because it just came out of the package but you can iron those out but i love this and it feels so nice and so luxurious oh my god and i'm five 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 feet, five inches. Yeah, this is so lovely. So if you're interested in copying a set for yourself, and I highly recommend it, sis. I've got it linked in the description box below. Silk Silky was kind enough to give you all 15% off if you use promo code Tanika15. So if you get some, and I hope you do, please post it on Instagram and tag me in it. I wanna see, I wanna see how you live in, girl. I wanna see it. Yes, I'm here for it, I'm here for it. I'm excited to take a hot bath and slip right into my silk pajamas, 100% mulberry silk. I have not had um, a fully silk pajama pants set before, so I'm excited about this. It feels super luxurious. Thank you, Silk Silky, for sponsoring this part of the video. I appreciate you. Good afternoon, happy Friday, how are you? I had to come on, I think I'm gonna vlog today. I. <laughs> The universe is sending me messages. Apparently justice is too, but the universe has been sending me messages. I had a call with someone on, I think I told you guys that I'm one of the co-leads for the My Abilities um, Employee Resource Group here in New York uh, for NBC Universal. And one of the committee chairs wanted to talk to me. And um, as part of that conversation, she was asking me questions. And then she said, that is a tomorrow question. We're not going to deal with it today or a tomorrow problem. Um, and she said her name and I started laughing. I was like, oh my God, I love that. She was like, oh yeah, that's my secret uh, procrastination message. I was like, it's not even procrastination. It's just like dealing with what's in the moment. Like what do we have to deal with today? And what are we dealing with tomorrow? So I like that. And then I've mentioned to you guys a million times this Equilibrium app. Um, so it sends me emails like, you know, to trigger you to access the app if you haven't mm -hmm. accessed it in a while, basically. But this is what it said. I think I left it open so I could share it with you guys. Yeah. Protect your time and energy. Tanika. We're going to get justice out of here first. Go outside, baby. Go play. Please. Oh, my God. She's excited to go out there. She couldn't go out there yesterday because it was so windy. And it was like picking her up. But anyway, let me turn this around and show you guys. So there it is. Protect your time and energy, Tanika. Being able to control how you spend your time is key to boosting your energy and overall happiness. Let's figure out if there are things you don't really need to do and how you can say no to them. So then I'm going to click on 
get started. I thought this was so cool. And it's to don't list. Don't you love that? Make a to don't list of activities and requests you won't do because they don't support your mental or physical well being. These can be social commitments or self imposed commitments, such as housework, errands, working late, or mindlessly scrolling on social media. Sometimes we need to say no to ourselves too when we're tempted to act in ways that drain our energy. And then the examples, I'll cancel my weekend Zoom call to recharge. I won't work late when I'm tired. I won't push myself to work out when I need extra sleep in the morning. So I already filled out one of them. It, it says done on there because I did it, but um, I was just showing you guys the blank slate of the experience. Um, Oh, it does have it at the bottom too, my entries. Um, I won't push myself to work out early in the morning when I need to rest. And so I think that's what I've been doing intuitively is like, I was tired this week. And so I didn't work out, but I was feeling bad. You know what I mean? Like I was shaming myself, I think. So yeah, just I've instinctively followed this, but then not mentally, like accepted it. So I, this was a good message. The universe is sending me out positive affirmations that I'm on the right track. Um, sorry if you guys can still hear justice. I don't know what that girl's got going on over there, but yeah, so that just, I, I'm glad I got it today. Cause it kind of sets the tone for the weekend. Cause there are things that I need to do around the house, but I'm going to prioritize my mental health, my energy and my well being first right? Because otherwise I've just checked off a bunch of stuff on a list and I haven't taken care of myself. So that's what we're going to work on. Um, today is wax day. I'm going to get waxed. Um, I'm just going to get the Brazilian. Last time I got Brazilian and underarm, but my underarm hair has not grown back. So, and then the curls need a bath. They actually need more than a bath. They need a bath and like clippings. Um, and I'm debating if I should drop them off or not, but I'm like, Oh, I could save 180 bucks if I do it myself. But is that a bad mom? Like, um, I don't think so, right? They don't always have to go to the shop. <laughs> I'm going to try. Not today. I think I'll do it tomorrow, like when they first get up and they're a little more agreeable. Yeah. But like their bangs are crazy. Well, at least Liberty's like she can hardly see. And she doesn't like it when I put a bow up there. Um, even though she looks super cute. She's like always <laughs> till she gets it off. Anyway, wanted to share that. Wanted to get the day started, even though it's the afternoon. But there's like messages coming toward me and I'm like, I got to share this in case somebody else needs to hear this too. I got to share it with y'all. All right. I'll be back in a little bit. Oh my God. I'm watching Nick and Carla. Do you guys ever watch Nick and Carla? They do reaction videos. They reacted to Lily. I watched Lily's video yesterday and now I'm watching Nick and Carla, but they keep talking about big girl, big girl. And Lily was eating some chicken and I was like, oh my God, I want some chicken. So now I didn't sat here and ordered some Popeyes. I got a three piece meal coming with an extra side of red beans and rice and a lemonade, strawberry slushy or something. <laughs> But it's going to be all right because that's what I wanted to eat. Anyway, I also, while I was doing this, why, the reason why I'm sitting here, I got to get back to my work computer. I wanted to send a note to Dr. McConnell and the crew. So here's what I said. And we'll see if they get back to me because it's 1.24. I meant to send it this morning, but I had to get myself together um, mentally. So I just put happy Friday and I sent it to Dr. McConnell, Katrina, the nurse, and Nalita. So Dr. McConnell and Katrina, I've been working with since 2018. But um, Nalita is new to the crew as of 2021. Anyway, happy Friday. It's y'all's favorite patient. And then I did a little melty face emoji. Uh, you okay there, Justice? <laughs> my question is based on the understanding that I cannot have a transfer in the same cycle as my biopsy. Because I think I don't I think they do it after, right? Because the timing, I, I couldn't be medicated. That's what I'm, that's my understanding. I can't be medicated for the biopsy. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it's like, we'll do it like the ERA. But anyway, I stopped taking Doxy on the 1st of October. So three weeks after that is the 22nd. I ovulated on Monday and my little phase is 13 to 14 days. So that makes cycle day one, October 3rd. Should I take vaginal progesterone into the 10th of October to delay the new cycle? That would make cycle day one about October 15th. Then I could have my biopsy the week of the 25th. My results from Braverman are due between November, or, I'm sorry, are due between October 25th and November 1. 
the approach would put my transfer cycle to start about November 14th, and I would still be able to transfer in 2021. My main goal is to have my transfer this year before the Columbia Lab closes for the holidays. And then I put in parentheses, insurance, insurance, insurance. And I put, I currently have 60 progesterone tabs at 200 milligrams, which are these, um, and I put, let me know your thoughts. So we'll see what they say. Cause I, I definitely will. I shouldn't say definitely probably should start it this weekend. Um, but I, I'm guessing it can wait till Monday. I did not get an out of office for them. So they're in today. So hopefully one of them gets back to me and I added Nalita because she would be the one scheduling the biopsy. And then between Katrina and Dr. McConnell, I usually talk to one or both of them. Sometimes Katrina says no when I ask her stuff like this. So I want to add Dr. McConnell because I already expressed to her the importance of the importance to me of having the transfer this year, just because I won't incur additional costs versus January, it will be significantly higher because I I obviously wouldn't have met my deductible yet in January. So, and after all I've been through, I feel like, come on, y'all work with me. I know you guys are not sitting around just thinking about my cycle, but I am. And so I want to nudge you in the right direction. So that's that. I wanted to share that with you guys. They may come back and say, no, they may come back and say, yeah, maybe they're going to give me a free cycle. And then I don't care when it lands. You feel me? So I just wanted to get that out in the universe. I'm waiting on my Popeyes and um, let me get back to work. But we vibing today. We got stuff going on, (laughs) y'all. Yes, we do. All right. I just got my lab results back from my physical on Monday. And I wanted to share with you guys my A1C, hemoglobin A1C is 5.1. And the reference range for this lab is 4.8 to 5.6% minus 5.1. So I'm like right in the middle. They tested me for COVID. It was negative. No surprise there. Um, TSH is 2.150. And the reference range for this lab is 0.450 to 450 UIU um, ML. So I feel pretty good about that. My cholesterol looks amazing. I wanted to share that with you guys because I know some people ask me about like keto and cholesterol and... They get a lot of scary stories about it. Hang on, let me let... Every time I talk to y'all, she wants to go outside. Maybe I should just put her out before I start talking to you guys. Libby, do you want to go too? No? Okay. All right, so cholesterol total... 151, and the reference is, sorry, you guys are super close. And the reference for this lab is 100 to 199. Triglycerides, 47 on a range of 0 to 149. HDL cholesterol is 51, and they're looking for greater than 39. And VLDL cholesterol, Cal, is 10, and they're looking for between 5 and 40. And then LDL cholesterol is 90 and they're looking between zero and 99. So it's kind of on the higher side, but I think LDL is the good one, right? Let me just see. Let's see if I can type with one hand, LDL cholesterol. Um, Oh no, it's the bad one. It collects in the walls of your vessels, but either way, it's still, I'm good there. It's within range. So yeah. There you go. I'm going to send these off to Dr. McConnell and Katrina, just because this is from my physical. You, you're you meant to have it every year. So I just want them to have this blood work. Of course, we'll have more comprehensive blood work once we get the Braverman stuff back. But um, just so they're in the loop. Um, and my pap smear results are in here. I haven't had my mammogram. That's next week. So once I get those back, I will send it to them. And hopefully I don't have to do the echocardiogram this year but we'll see <laughs> baby tell me why i'm taking a bath lidocaine my hoo-ha um and it's 4 15 oh it's 4 17 now my appointment was at 4 15 i called and asked if i could be 30 minutes late and they were like no ma'am no ma'am no ham no turkey so tomorrow at 1 45 so i guess i can just take off my lidocaine <laughs> I don't know what else I'm going to do, but I had to get something done for work. And this works out better because then I would have had to go there, come back and try to finish this. So this works out better. I don't know why I tried to do, you know why? Because it was, I wasn't thinking it was still like summertime when I did it and summertime, like we usually bugger off about three o'clock 
on a Friday, but it's summer's over. All right. Anyway, just that little update. I'll, I'm going to make this a weekend vlog so I can take you guys with me to the wax spot. All right. I just got an email back from Dr. McConnell. She says it's a great plan. Yay. And to reach out to Nolito when I have cycle day one. So my non progesterone bloat belly is going to be big again. Um, <laughs> this is one of those maternity dresses where I never did the try on haul for you guys. But anyway, I just took off my waist trainer because I put on that cream and it was like hot. I had to get the cream off. Anyway, so the plan that I read earlier. So I'm going to start the progesterone now and we're going to continue it. So <laughs> I just got to make notes on my calendar and alarm so that I don't forget. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I'm see being proactive helps being proactive helps. rising. How are you? It is like 10 something right now. I'm just getting up. I slept through my alarm. So I missed my morning doxy or I'm late. So I just took, um, one doxy. I took one of these orally and then this is the pre and postbiotic, I think. And then the other probiotic I took vaginally along with hi i said grand rising look at you okay wait a minute um what was i saying oh vaginally something vaginally i took the other one the other probiotic um vaginally and also my oh god where'd it go it's in the bathroom oh it's over there um progesterone so oh my god and i'm getting waxed at 145 i hopefully that is not messy um y'all know those progesterone tabs can be a little messy i started to do an injection instead but then i was just like i don't feel like doing all that we'll just have to deal with it i'm debating on if i should do the girls bath before i go and then cut them when i get back i need to sit and look at a schedule and see if that's possible there is a doggy bath downstairs on the basement floor where the gym is. So I think I'll take them down there just so I don't have to worry about cleaning up dog hair out of my own tub. And, and the girls have, they do have hair and not fur because Cheyenne is allergic. I think I'm going to take them down there. It's just a matter of when I need to like do some calculations on the time, but I hope you guys are well. It's Saturday. It's the weekend. The weather looks great outside. Yeah. I think I'm going to wash them before I go. And then after I think I'll do their, uh, haircuts mainly around their face and their bottoms I don't want to cut it too short because it's about to get cold soon so they'll need all their fur and we'll have to like I should go through their sweaters and see what they can still fit it's probably time to buy them some sweaters for fall and And winter and oh my god I was scrolling through something and I saw these cute little doggy Halloween costumes is it that time of year again last year they were Yoda and justice was Yoda Liberty was Princess Leia they might be that again this year I don't know I'm gonna look though and see but anyway I want to come on and get the day going good morning mm, grand rising mm, okay all right, change of plans. I'm gonna, um, I just scared them when I started talking. You guys okay? I'm gonna just give them a bath in the bathtub. I went downstairs and I was like, it's low to the ground, obviously, but I would either have to sit on the ground or I would have to be on my knees on the ground. And then I need to bring a yoga mat and all that. And my back is kind of hurting. So I'm just going to do it in the tub where I can just be as comfortable as I want to be. Um, I'll probably bring the stool over there so I can sit on the stool. It'll be quick because they like to fight anyway, but I just want to make sure I'm not in a bad way or, you know, they wiggle a lot. Anyway, I'm going to do it in the bathroom, in my bathroom, but let's get going. <laughs> Get off of her back. Are you 
we're done. The fighting is over. Now I gotta blow dry them. That's the water going out that you hear. Look who's all fluffy. You're all fluffy and clean. Mm. You smell so good. She's traumatized. She's shaking like a leaf. She's like, listen, you didn't wash me, blow dry me, brush me. Uh, let me be. Let me be. Okay. Now I got to do Liberty, who's running around here with the zoomies. She smells so good now. So fresh and so clean. Okay. Let me dry your sister. Then we'll brush your teeth. Okay. Look at that little face. Hey. <laughs> Justice ran away. I mean, not Justice. Liberty ran away from me. So I'm going to let her take a break because I think I might be stressing her out. And I'm just going to bleach this tub because I got to get in here now. And then I'm going to um, head off to get my wax. You didn't want me to finish drying you? be fluffy like justice hey fluffy girl hey how you doing how you doing what's going on liberty you didn't want to get fluffy liberty made a run for it twice the second time i'll just let her go her ears are a little bit damp but um she has a different hair texture than justice so i'm not as worried about her getting tangled Justice has got to be dry all the way through or she gets tangles and then it has to be cut out because she can't stand them. She's tender headed like me. She can't stand them, me trying to come through them. So anyway, I am cleaning out the tub. I'm about to run some water so I can get to my 145 waxing appointment. I'm heating up one of the factory mills. I'll do in the black and salmon. I'll show you real fast. I'm trying to get out of here like by 125. Uh, my appointment's at 1.45, and then that gives me time to wash my hands and all that. Are you coming in? So, yes. I'm feeling good today. I'm feeling good. Of course, I slept till 10, which helps. But overall, like, spiritually, energy, I feel like I'm in a good place. Okay, this is the lunch. I'm going to plate it. Let me go finish the tub and get my water started. Then I'll plate it, and I'll eat. Oh, I cannot wait to eat this. You guys, I got my hat on. Um, this is, <laughs> let me do it this way. The salmon, the blackened salmon with the smoked Gouda cauliflower grits. And the Gouda is Gouda, Gouda, Gouda. And then some broccoli. So, yeah. Can you guys see that? I have my hat on. <laughs> let me do it from this way. And then I just got some, the vitamin water, the triple X, and I added a little more pomegranate juice in it. So yeah. So yeah, I'm gonna eat outside right quick. This is like the perfect thing for a brunch because it's got the grits and the salmon. Um, and it came delivered from Factor. There's a place, Melba's down here. They'll charge you uh, $27 if you go down there and order some blackened salmon and grits. And it's not the cauliflower grits. So these are even better for my waistline. Let me eat. I'm going to be late if I don't get going. any shapewear. I'm actually not wearing any underwear um, just because I don't feel like getting in and out of it, but there you go. I'll show you guys. They have a full-length mirror when I get over there. Hey fam. All right. I did make it here, <laughs> but I got bumped. I got to come back at 530, so I'll show you guys then. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah.
never not, never under yard, never ever on, forever on Check my reppin' on, check my repertoire, don't check me not Unless it's checks involved, I've been feeling like I'm next to God Next to next to God, next to next to God Never not, never under yard, never ever on, forever on Check my reppin' on, check my repertoire, don't check me not Unless it's checks involved, I've been feeling like I'm next to God Next to next to God, next to next to God Never fold, never ever fold, never ever stone or rolling stone Till I'm in rolling stone, bet I'm close to gold, need a place, need a safe a bank. I've been saving change, I need some space Chatting in my face, get from around my way Ay, ay, ay. What you saying, where you at now? I swear that once I leave my city, never coming back down Wait from pushing tapes to glowing up around the map now Real hot summer, keep my cool, I never act out ay, ay, ay. Yes indeed, recognize what you want, man, I be what you need Won't take control of me, but I got mouths to feed Hustle smart, nah, hard to still get it by any means Please Never not, never under yard, never ever on, forever on Check my reppin' on, check my repertoire, don't check me not Unless it's checks involved, I've been feeling like I'm next to God So next to God, next to next to God all right, I'm back. I stopped by the package room and checked the mailbox. I'm gonna tell you one thing. I'm gonna tell you one time. When I leave this house again, I'm gonna have on some drawers. This skirt is too short. This dress is too short to be hopping in and out of cars with no drawers. No ma'am. No ham. No turkey. Cheyenne just left. I didn't record her. I was in the moment with her, but she came and she cut up that watermelon for me that I've have neglected. Uh oh. Anyway, my lift is on the way, so I'm gonna go. Come on, hop in the car. I'm gonna take them out to the park to walk with their fluffy selves. I just realized I did not close out the weekend vlog. I just got a call from Katrina, though. She's just reconfirming what Dr. McConnell said was a good plan. Um, I did start the progesterone on Friday because she was like, go ahead and start it if you haven't started. I was like, oh, no, I started it after I got her notice. Now I'm thinking because she didn't give me my transfer date. So I actually want to work that out today. I think I want to work that out today. So I'm not going to close this yet. Let me figure out what that looks like. And that, of course, assumes that the biopsy comes back clear after the three weeks, but we're going to name it and claim it, right? That's going to come back clear. All this doxycycline is not for nothing. Um, I'm down to the end of it. This is my last week. I think Friday will be my last day. So I'm excited about that. <clears throat> but yeah, let me do, I got to turn in one thing for work really fast and then I'll do the calculations and I'll come back and close out. <laughs> it's nighttime now. Hi, girls. I just turned the light on. They're like, what is happening right now? We're sleeping, Mom. I finally, 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 finally did the calculations for my transfer cycle. So based on everything we know now and assuming the biopsy, claiming, naming, and claiming that the biopsy comes back fine, um, my transfer cycle would start around November 12th 
That would be cycle day one. So my transfer would be about December 3rd. Again, if everything goes as planned. The, I think December or November, what did I say before? No, October 25th or November 3rd is when I would get all my blood work. I don't want to say analyzed. All the blood work would be processed to create that risk assessment um, that Pregmune is preparing for Braverman. Then um, Dr. Thornton over at Braverman, Dr. T would come up with my protocol, right? So that would happen around the beginning of November. And then my cycle would start around November 12th. So that would be enough time to coordinate. Hopefully it's just medication. Um, maybe doxycycline, maybe the medrol sooner. Um, maybe one of those IVs, um, the LVG or LPG. I can't remember what it's called. But it's like instead of intralipids, the other one. Um, oh, Liberty left, but Justice is still here. Liberty is like, I don't have time for this light and all this talking to the fam again, mom. But she went over there under the chair. So, yeah, December 3rd, which is my sister's birthday. Sagittarius. Oh, excuse me. I haven't looked to see when the due date would be, but it would definitely be a 2022 baby, but I guess, um, August, somewhere around there, August, September. Um, so yeah, that is that I'm now going to close out the weekend vlog. Uh, I'm about to edit last weekend's vlog and, um, that'll post this Friday, which will be October 1. And I did a premiere with you guys today. You guys are so cute. Um, one of you, Crystal B., asked if I would do a video on why I was single. Let me know your thoughts if you guys want to see that video. I don't really know. I'd have to sit down and think about it other than it's just a personal choice. Um, I guess it's normalized so much for people to be coupled up. I think that's where the question comes from. It's funny though, because she said, well, I don't understand why you don't want to ask her why she wanted to in the comments, like why would she want to? And um, Crystal, if you're watching, you said, something about I'm not gay, but I don't think being a lesbian would necessarily be while I was single. I think whatever my sexuality is, it's still a choice to be single. Um, but yeah, let me know if you guys are interested in that. It's a little bit of a bizarre question. So I'm just trying to think of like, if I have a concise answer, I'm not going to scratch my head too hard about it unless you guys are interested in it. And then I'll try to come up with a concise video. Other than I just choose to be. Um, all right. That is it. I hope that you enjoyed this vlog. Thanks for rocking with me this weekend. And yay to getting closer to baby. <sighs> we should have answers soon. Prayerfully. Hopefully. All right. Love you, ladies. Bye. <sighs> baby does to us all.